The OSC Arena looking packed, which is the norm. Here's Cotton, step back. We doubt White didn't know where he'd gone, but he can look at the scoreboard to see what happened. What a little bounce back play. A lot of them off these John Mooney screens. That was the snap back. Their ability to be able to go on runs in a gym where it's very hard to do. Great pass, Cotton. Able to find Mooney for the layup. And that is the margin. As we head towards the last two minutes of the first half, here's Cotton, fade away, 14-footer. Didn't even look like drawing any iron. Bryce Cotton, 22 in the first half to resume. The lob for the Moondog. What a pass, Cotton. What a great play. Perfectly executed by the two-time championship defender. And this is what you're talking about, Hammer. This is the issues they're having with Iverson. He's not stopping the ball on those hard shows. So you get the alley-oop. It's too far to recover. And as a result, they set it up for Mooney. Cotton snaffles the board and he'll push. Wide, 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 wide open is Todd Blanchfield. What a pass. What oh. a pass. And Bryce Cotton loved that just like everyone around the NBL, unless you're a Breakers fan. How's this bounce pass? Who the little fella just fly there? As Cotton patiently waits to set up to get the John Mooney screen. He pulls up a three off it and probably sticks the dagger. In fact, I'll say definitely Shane Hill. 13 point lead. He's got 30. Out there, but that's on McDowell White. He needs to get on this side of him to push him into where the help is.